Today, we're going to show you how you can easily round your webcam corners on video conferences, live streams, and online classes with ManyCam. Let's get to it. All right, so here we are inside ManyCam and you can already see an example of what the rounded corners look like. And just a reminder that if you were to live stream this, you would just click here on the live stream button and select the platform you wanna go live on. Otherwise, if you're gonna connect it to video conferencing apps or teaching platforms, usually you're gonna to go to the video settings and select ManyCam as your video source. As an example here, I have Skype, so I'm in the audio and video settings and I can come up here on camera and select ManyCam as my video source. And then because each app has different settings, you just need to adjust your size here to fit whatever aspect ratio the app uses, right? So then I can make it perfect. All right, and back to ManyCam and how you can round the corners of your webcam. Here you can select the layer of your webcam, which you would add just by right clicking and add your webcam. So once it's selected, you can come up here to the transform panel and then you have this corner radius option. And that's as simple as sliding this left to right. And then you're going to see that it's rounded all the way, the maximum possible. And then if I go all the other way, I have square edges, as simple as that. In this case, I would do it a little bit like 20% probably, and then add another layer in the back as a color source. So in this case, I just selected the blue color source and I have this nice little border here. Usually when we want to use webcam with rounded corners, we want to add more video sources to it, right? So instead of just having the webcam, we're going to have PowerPoint presentations or videos or other sources that create sort of a layout composition to our live video. So in that case, I created another preset here, which has a different ex example for you guys. So here I have this PowerPoint presentation in the back, and then in the front, I have my webcam. You could create this just by right clicking and then adding a new layer, and then you can create that sort of composition. I'll also leave a link down below in the description with other layout compositions that you could get inspired with in our blog post. Make sure you check that out. So here I have my webcam and I can just select this layer here, come up here to the transform panel again, go to corner radius and just slide that. In this case, because it's a little smaller, I think I would go to 35% so I can get like a nice rounded edge that would contrast well with this sort of background. And that's it. Easy, right? As a little bonus, let's also have a look at how you could do a circular webcam instead of just the rounded edges, because that would look pretty cool, right? All right, so everything now is reset to where we started with the layer not having any rounded shapes whatsoever. So the first thing we want to do when we want to create a circular shape is have it in a square rather than a rectangle, right? So to do that, we're going to go and press Command on Mac or Control on Windows. You can hold that down and then in the corner of the layer here, you're going to drag it. Once you do, you can see that it already made this little line is a square now, but we need to fill that square with our webcam view rather than just have this empty spaces that we are having now. So click on the layer and then come up here to the transform panel and here instead of fit you're gonna choose fill and that's it. Now we have the square and you can come up here now to corner radius and slide that all the way to 100% and we have our circular shape. Now once I connect this to any video conferencing app, teaching platform or live streaming platform, I'm gonna have this layout to my live video. And that's it. Now you have a circular shaped webcam. And I'll give you a little extra tip here. If for any reason it's not centered the way you want it to be, all you need to do is hold down command on Mac or control on Windows, and then you can click and drag the image to where it needs to be. So you can center it the way you want it. Now you're ready to go on and create your own layout compositions on ManyCamp for your live videos to look way more engaging and professional. 
I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more, hit the bell notification so that you get notified every time we upload a new video and if you have any other suggestions for videos, leave them down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.